Hi friends, Bus Justice here. We're gonna get the Bear Mage Tower done today because uh, Blizzard nerfed it into the ground apparently for Dragonflight and uh, anybody can get it. I'll show you how. And uh, you'll also notice there is nothing special going on with my gear. This is very low item level for Dragonflight. There's no enchants. I think I got, I got a leg enchant. It's the Lambent leg enchant, which is like main stat and versatility, which is very good. Um, other than that, it's just, uh, it's just crap. Nothing special going on. And then here's the talents. We're going to spec hard into arcane damage, spell damage, that sort of thing, uh, while our moon fires just keep ticking on everything. It's pretty OP, uh, especially with the boss and all the mobs being very low health. We're actually going to open up in moonkin form uh, outside of Varus' uh, circle of death uh, to make use of all that uh, plus spell power kind of thing. Uh, moonkin form, heart of the wild, and then spam moon fires. Uh, Moonfire's your friend for this fight big time. So you want to come sit on this little fork at the end because when the encounter starts, we don't want to be inside Varus's circle of death. Um, so we're just going to be outside of it. And I know Moonkin can be like off-putting to most tanks. I myself never play casters, but this is just like a lull encounter. Like there's nothing to it. Um, we're just going to go Heart of the Wild, Moonfire, and then uh, Convoke the Spirits. And that's it. That's a great opener. Three, two, one. And uh, once it's time to do that first interrupt, you're going to Typhoon. Easy, baby. And that's the only Typhoon we actually need. We just want to get Varus closer to Velen, because so, the adds uh, gravitate towards Velen. So while we're AoEing the adds, might as well AoE Varus as well, since he's the primary target, right? And then uh, after that, just use Skull Clap or whatever it is uh, for your interrupts going forward. You might be wondering what that smaller green circle is on the ground. That's my AoE from uh, Best in Slot Trinket for basically all of the Mage Tower encounters. That's uh, Ravage Seed Pod. So you get that off the first boss of Nightmare Emerald on any difficulty. So there's actually an NPC in Dalaran where you can single queue for LFR version. And uh, it's an instant queue. You just run in, kill the first boss. If it doesn't drop, well, okay, just fly to the raid and uh, do it on normal. Kill the first boss, run out, set it to heroic, do it on heroic, kill the first boss, run out, set it to mythic, run in, kill the first boss, and uh, you'll probably get it in one of those four runs. It's a high drop percentage, and that's just best in slot. does a ton of AoE damage, so that's what I do for the uh, for the adds phase. Uh, use it on cooldown for adds, okay? All right, so we did a bunch of burst, and uh, we're just chilling now. We're not worried about anything. You're just going to wait for ads to pop up. You're going to moon fire when they come out. Do I look worried? Do I look like I'm even hitting buttons? I look like I'm a clicker right now. I see the infernal popping up. They move very slowly and it's just a frontal cone like any other frontal cone in the game. You can just sidestep it. I'm constantly moving um, just to already passively be sidestepping the frontal cone. And, and that air horn is interrupt. That means I'm going to use my Skull Bash whenever I hear the ear, air horn. Looks like I did this Blue Druid spell for AoE on the adds this time instead of Ravage Seed Pod, if anybody knows what spell that is. And we're just going to watch the stacks of our Death Aura while we're AoEing with Varus as our primary target. We're going to run out at four, five, or six stacks. You're going to make sure you get all those little adds with the, uh, with the Moonfire. That's all they need. They don't need your respect. Give them one Moonfire and bugger off. Don't even worry about it, bud. Just Moonfire everything. Everything could use a Moonfire. Remember, we specced into Arcane Damage, right? Damn, that I got one shot by the initial Moonfire Blast. I wonder if he saw it coming. Then we're going to do another Ravaged Seed Pod to kill all those adds. And there's Cruel. So we're just chilling. We know we're going to pop a defensive for Annihilate. And we know we're going to need that air horn interrupt for Twisted uh, Reflection. No big deal. And the rest of the fight, you just collect the adds as you go. I'm, I'm very chill on this fight. I, there's no, there's, I'm not spazzing out. I just, you know, annihilate, Twisted Reflection, all good. Watch out for the smashes by Infernals, uh, and it's okay to use uh, Goblin Guider if uh, you do get knocked back. Uh, and just bind Goblin Guider to a key. You can fly right back onto the platform. Feel free to use Bloodlust Drums as well from the Auction House. I guess I forgot to use them here, lol. 
The white balls will heal your whole party to full. Um, so you can use that instead of spamming your self heals. Um, and they'll also disorient everything and stop everything from casting against you. Um, so you can use it to push back annihilates, push back interrupts that you have to do. Just save them for the High Lord Cruel section if you can. They're really like an extra bonus kind of thing. And if you need them, use them. No big whoop. Oh yeah, those, those purple lines that are pushing you around, you don't have to take that, just run through them. Run, run through them like your college days. Or jump over them, you can jump over them like Super Mario, you know? They're a nothing burger. They're, they're not really a mechanic. Just run over them, jump over them, no big deal. You can also remove any spells from your bar that you're not going to use for Mage Tower. That's what I do. Uh, and it doesn't clutter it up. Like, you don't need Taunt, you don't need Soothe, you don't need, what, uh, Cyclone, Ursul's Vortex. As I review the footage and the commentary, it, it still looks too tech, but it, it's really a nothing encounter. It is really the easiest encounter right now during Dragonflight. You don't have to do the Moonkin thing if you don't want to. Like, you can certainly face roll this with Maul and, and Swipe and whatever. Um, but uh, you should spec into all the arcane talents uh, and just Moonfire everything. And uh, grats on your bear mount. And, uh, you know, more people do Mage Tower. Maybe they'll bring out more rewards in future iterations. Thanks for watching.